Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. As always, today we're going to show you how to delete the software distribution folder in Windows 10 or 11. We're using 11 in the background, and it's important to note before we get started, a lot of people will delete the contents of the software distribution folder if they're having trouble getting Windows updates, so it can help you resolve a lot of Windows update errors. It's certainly worth a try. There's very little harm. There's no harm in doing it. Anything you delete will be restored, and I'll repeat that as we go forward. So let's take a look at how we can do this. As you may have noticed, I'm in safe mode. So what you want to do is start, shut down, tap or hold the F8 key, and choose safe mode. You don't need to choose safe mode with networking, just safe mode. You'll be in and out of here. Open File Explorer. And when you do, you want to go down to C. Go to Windows. And let's find the software distribution folder. There it is. We're going to click on that. Here's the beauty of safe mode. When you try and do this from normal mode, these files will be locked. Not all of them, but a good chunk of them. And it should be worth noting a lot of times that they don't take up a lot of space. It really depends on what's going on with your Windows updates currently. So it can get pretty large. So let's take a look what we can do here. So now you've got this highlighted, software distribution. So press Control A on your keyboard and then press Delete. As you can see, it's empty. I prefer to leave the software distribution folder alone, and I'm going to tell you why. Windows is going to recreate it. So when you reboot, that folder will come back, if not immediately, very, very soon. There's, so I just leave the folder there so we don't mess up anything. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to restore these files now, and then I'm going to reboot, and I'm going to show you the hard way to do it because this is Major Geeks, and why not do it the hard way? So in a minute, I'll be right back with a nice normal desktop all right and we are back with our normal desktop booted into normal mode and we have our tutorial here in the background with everything we just discussed with you and again this is the easy way to do it right into safe mode piece of cake well I also should mention that Windows disk cleanup C cleaner privisor wise disk cleaner if you're looking to free up space this is not the place to do it there's no point Windows updates are important don't screw them up that's my opinion not even opinion it's just fact so what we can do is do it the hard way. We need to stop the Windows Update Service, and we need to stop the Background Intelligent was it Transfer Service, something like that. So what we're going to do is Windows Key plus X, and depending on 11 or 10, you will click on Windows Terminal as Admin or PowerShell as Admin. And once that's up, we're going to drop it right down here. You can copy and paste this. Find the link in the video description or up here somewhere, the little I. Control-V. Or type in net space stop space W-U-A-U-S-E-R-V and press enter. You're looking for it to say this right here if you typed it correctly, and it has stopped. Now we're going to stop the background intelligent transfer service, and that's a bit of an easy one. Oh, copied too much. Let's try this. Net, it's easy enough to type. Net stop bits. Just like that. Press enter. You see the same thing? It is stopping. It is stopped. So just click somewhere to put terminal in the background or PowerShell. We'll need it in a minute. So now what happens is because a lot of these folders are still in use, you're not going to be able to get rid of everything. Windows still using them. We're going to take a look anyway. See, it might help you if this is the only way you can do it. That's the only reason I'm showing you this. All right, see Windows software distribution, just like before, Control A, except you're going to see errors. And there it is. So what you can do is do it for all items and press skip and let it delete what it wants. So you can see it got about 61 items. Let's take a look here real quick. Properties. Sixty-eight megs. There's twenty-two files and seventeen folders you deleted, and this is just an example. So I deleted sixty-one files, so I deleted good chunk of them might solve the problem if you can't get into safe mode so there you have it and that's worth mentioning if you come back up here and you see the tutorial reboot and use safe mode if you can't get into safe mode here's a whole much better way to do it if you can't it'll almost always work for you we're gonna use MS config and we're gonna do using system configuration MS config administrative tools we can do a selective startup allowing you to get into safe mode so there's that. 
in the background. So there you have it. Okay, so now that you've deleted what you can, you've got to restart everything. So you've got two choices. You can reboot or we can start the same service as we stop. And it doesn't quite fit in the screen, I don't think. Let me try. Almost. So you'll notice net stop, net stop, net start, net start. So you're going to repeat the same thing as you can see here. Control V. Let's start her up. There you go. It's starting. It started. Net start bits. And it says it started already, so we should be okay on that. Normally, you'll see almost the exact same thing. Don't know how it started by itself, but cool. Now, one of the things, I think I deleted all of this. See, it says how to back up the software distribution folder. It wasn't working correctly before, and it's easier to do from safe mode, so let me refresh. I actually was just doing this now, rewriting the whole article as we speak, and just updating it for 2021, 2022. Try it again. There we go. So you surprisingly, I've removed how to back up the folder. And that brings us back to the top of this tutorial where I told you I'd repeat this. I'm not going to back it up. And the reason for that is Windows is going to recreate the folder. So again, I would not delete the software distribution folder, but I would delete the files in it. And there's no harm in deleting it because Windows is going to come up automatically and go, hey, what happened? put it back. Now the other thing that might happen, your computer might run a little bit slower and you might need to let it sit for a little bit while Windows restores all of the files that you deleted and hopefully if it's a Windows update problem, the problem is solved. If not, as always, as you know at the bottom of these articles, you can find some information on other folders and how to delete pending Windows update. That's a pretty old story, but it has a video and for the most part, that can solve your problem as well. So there you have it. That is how you delete the software distribution. Again, just remember, if you're going to delete it, you're deleting it because you have a problem. You're not deleting it to free up space. It's pointless. There you have it, guys. Ladies, thanks for watching as always. See you.